Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam and this is Flirt Nandina from the Southern Living Plant Collection in two minutes. Uh, Flirt Nandinas are dwarf uh, Nandinas. They only reach about a foot to two feet in height and about the same width. They have this beautiful red new growth on them anytime that they're growing. So spring, summer, and fall. Uh, unlike some other older varieties of uh, dwarf Nandinas like this that had the same exact habit, which would kind of put on that big flush of color in the spring and then green up during the summer. This one continues to put on this show. Uh, I'm shooting this video in the middle of August and you can see how showy these are and they're this way from early spring right on. It's truly a four season plant, looks great uh, year round. It's evergreen, uh, disease and insect resistant, deer proof pretty much, uh, uh, kind of bulletproof once it's established, mound them up a little bit when you plant them. You could prune them anytime, although this plant's just never gonna need to be pruned. I've had one in the ground at my house for a year, year and a half, and it's uh, it's bigger than it was when I planted it, but it is the perfect, perfect plant for me because there's just no maintenance to do to it. I, I walk around and throw fertilizer on it once a year and I keep it mulched and keep the weeds away from it. And that is the maintenance that I do on my Flirt uh, Nandina. These are hardy in zone six to 10, so a pretty wide area that they can be uh, grown in. Super drought tolerant plant once it's been in the ground for a while. And it's just hard to beat the amount of showiness you get from this plant. This plant would look great uh, as a foundation plant, obviously it's just a, a really a perfect foundation plant, especially if you have a on slab house and you have lower front windows, perfect foundation plant for that. It's really kind of hard to find evergreen shrubs that stay below uh, three feet. And this one will stay you know, in that two foot range. Uh, and then of course it looked great mass planted, looked great with any kind of yellow foliage plant, sunshine ligustrum, any of the uh, variegated abelias from the Southern Living Plant Collection like Radiance would be a great choice or, or Miss Lemon would really stand out with these. These are listed for sun or part shade. These are being grown in the shade and it's the reason I chose to shoot this video in this spot. This plant is showy even in quite a bit of shade. This is a bright space with pine shade above it and you can see how bright and showy these are even in, even in a low light condition. 